sparkling wine can do so much and, and it can pair with so many different things. It's going to come down to whoever makes the dish that pairs best with this wine. I think these are the next generation. We've got food experts, wine experts. Everyone is extremely competitive. I was negotiating player contracts for the Denver Broncos. Decided I wanted to quit the NFL and get into wine. <laughs> Being at, you know, D. Wade Cellar, to have that experience that I'm having now, it's a dream come true. You know, you can't make this up. We're gonna drink a lot of champagne, but we're also gonna throw down. Nobody's gonna hold back. So what makes this show extremely unique is this is self-judged. Each of us within the episode have the opportunity to become the judge. There's definitely going to be some smack talking. Yo, Miriam's going down. <laughs> Frenemies. <laughs> yeah, we are we're definitely frenemies, for sure. I'm from Chicago, and Chicago people cannot be easily corrupted. Jokes. <laughs> the winner is... Wow. <laughs> Dude. No, I'm not a villain. But here we go again, America. Whoever wins, I'll be happy for. Especially if it's me. This is mad wild, but I want to walk away a winner. It'll be interesting to see who takes the lead in the kitchen. We gotta go, we gotta go. Trippy, I wasn't expecting anything like this. I walked up to that cutting board without a plan. I've never shucked an oyster in my life. Take a deep breath, it's gonna be okay. I need to win this. How did we get into this mess? No one saw this coming. I knew it was gonna be close. I didn't know it was gonna be this close. Whoa! Whoa. I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> Whoa.